Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick, and uh, today's tutorial is on pet therapy. Right, right, Ellie. Uh, pet therapy is not necessarily for your pets. It's it's for you. But if you are a pet owner, I don't have any cats. I just had these shedding crazy doggies here, and this old guy who's 18 years old. And uh, Rizzo, come here. Get on the camera. Get on camera. Look at the camera. Look. Look at the camera. The camera? Whoa, whoa! Anyway, <clears throat> so the idea is to figure out what. Uh, the idea is to figure out um, how to take advantage of your pets. And <clears throat> there's a natural bond that pets have. And uh, it's not like a kid's, a human kid's. Uh, certainly, uh, children have an identity that's uh, specifically with the parent. And as they get older, it's not with the parent, it's independence. And they try to split themselves from that. But no matter how old uh, the pet is, I, I think that you can expect that this pet is going to um, have a magical identification of who they are with uh, who the owner is. And anytime uh, the owner leaves, it's like separation anxiety, especially this one. Right, Ellie? Right, Ellie? Oh. <laughs> so. The idea is, with uh, today's issues of uh, high blood pressure, cholesterol elevation, uh, craving and uh, eating excessively, getting overweight and then having uh, problems with diabetes or prediabetes, I think a lot of that is rooted in the, um, uh, I guess, the, the stressors of the Western world. And specifically in the United States, we're always trying to buy stuff that uh, you identify with to uh, other very popular people, uh, sports uh, athletes, uh, 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 sometimes artists, sometimes uh, uh, even even uh, people who uh, actors. So the idea is that if you see one of them, hello, hello, if you see one of them uh, uh, have a product you want to, or wear something, you want to be like them because. They're cool, they have a million followers. Uh, but that's not always a good idea because once you buy the product, you're going to have, once you buy the product, you're gonna have this, um, it, it's, uh, it, it's called a treadmill, uh, ooh, a hedonic treadmill. Yeah. So the hedonic treadmill says that you buy something and then you'll be bored of it, you'll need to have something else replace that initial high that you had when you first bought the thing, uh, but the high is gone, so you have to buy another thing. Because it's not fulfilling. Hey, hey, come here, come here. Come on, give me some therapy. Whoa, good job. So here's the idea. Come here, come here, buddy. Let me, come here, come on. So the idea is, I, I don't think he wants to hug. You don't want to hug. So the idea is, if you can spend some time just like this, petting your dogs, no matter how nasty that breath is, petting your dogs, and just five minutes of being in the moment. I think it's uh, important for the dog, uh, it's a healthy dog, right? That's how this guy lived to 18. Uh, how about you, huh? We're just, uh, you're just my grand dog, right? So, in expressing love for the dog, the dog will express it back, and it's kind of calming, well, <laughs> maybe not with these two, but with this guy. It's calming to the fact that, um, it just tells you to slow down. So those two are puppies. This guy's 18. But uh, if he can <laughs> calm, down, calm down the energy. Hey, come here, come here. Calm down the energy of these youthful, high testosterone puppies and find some calm. And usually that's uh, right before sleep time or after dinner when everybody settles down. That is great because suddenly uh, everybody will just relax. And when people relax, the blood pressure goes down, you're in the moment. Now, I wouldn't watch TV. TV is, you can't see it, it's over there. But I would just try to be in the moment with these guys. It might, and don't do any work. Uh, I think if you start doing work, you'll miss out on the time spent with the dogs and, and these other lives. So the, the serotonin that you get, that the dog gets when you pet the dog, I don't think there's any serotonin with Ellie. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, 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 o
What's up? <laughs> So the serotonin that they get when you hang out with them will equally reflect back to you. Um, it, it is thought. Okay, okay. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, whoa! And the, it's easily documented. Hey, hey, I'm recording. It's easily documented when somebody uh, witnesses an act of kindness. When you witness an act of kindness, the person that's experiencing the kindness or getting the kindness has a, a big hit of serotonin suddenly blossom. And serotonin is a love hormone. It helps you fight cancer. Well, it's also noted that the person that's watching that, or the person that's giving the act of kindness, to you, hey, I'm recording. What's up? The person that's giving the act of kindness to the the gifty will also experience serotonin. And the person watching the two will also have a big bloom of serotonin. And if the serotonin is high, you'll fight cancer, your blood pressure will lower, cholesterol won't get sticky, glucose doesn't spike. So he probably has a lot of good serotonin, uh, unless he's just old. Uh, but when that happens, then you're healthy. I mean, there's other things like practicing a whole food, plant-based diet, mostly plant-based, exercise, uh, having a, a sense of belonging in a family, in addition to a couple other things, but this is just about using pet therapy. And I think whether you have a dog or whether you have a cat, uh, I think that you can take the time, five to 10 minutes, and I think this video is running to the seven to 10 minute mark, take the time just to sit there and enjoy and be in the moment, whether it's inside the house or outside the house. This guy is my calm. And uh, I remember even driving to Florida with him and uh, he was just in the midst of a hurricane or we were going, going through Tornado Alley, it was a big storm. He was just sitting there and calming everybody down in the car. So I think there is value to spending time. I think that we as pet owners sometimes will take it for granted that we, thanks kid, sometimes take it for granted that Oh, pet's there, I'm tired, I'm gonna have a beer and watch TV. But, but that shouldn't be it. You should really spend time uh, like with your loved ones, with your kids, uh, with uh, your spouse. Uh, just dedicate to that short time, span of time in the day. If you're missing out on at least once a day hugging with your family members or your pets, uh, it's not cool. It's not healthy for the pets, not healthy for you. So take advantage of your pets, hang out 10 minutes if at the least. I and mean, there are, if you've ever heard of um, Transcendental Meditation, it's essentially practicing 20 minutes twice a day of some form of meditative practice. Guided imagery, mindfulness, uh, recitation of a mantra. So uh, Herb Benson uh, out of Harvard tried to analyze what are these guys doing with TCM, Transcendental Meditation. And they're lowering blood pressure, they're lowering cholesterol, they're lowering their pulse rate, uh, and usually that extrapolated would translate out to longevity, less disease. Uh, so uh, again, if you look at the science of it, it, it's serotonin. So if you're not into nature therapy, if you don't meditate, well, just take advantage of your pets and uh, try to spend some time because they won't be here forever and uh, you probably will have, you'll be here forever maybe, uh, but if you are here forever, but you have like 12 multiple diseases, that's not good. So. Oh boy, I'm going to take a bath now. So anyway, uh, hopefully you'll, uh, if you have your way of, sorry kid, if you have your way of uh, calming practice or pet therapy, what you guys do, taking a walk down the block, uh, please put them in the comments down below. You'll have to scroll past all the videos and otherwise I'll see you at the next tutorial. Okay kid? You okay kid? No. Oh.